In our previous video, we covered microphone options for the Sony ZV-1. In this video, we're going to be covering tripod options for the Sony ZV-1, particularly three of them. Now, why do we need tripod for the Sony ZV-1 if you ask? Now, the Sony ZV-1 does have stabilization, but it's digital stabilization, so it does crop into your image. And if you do not want a digital crop into your image, you will need to stabilize your camera on a platform. A mini tripod will be able to give you a reach out as well as a stable base for you to do vloggings and self-recording. Well, if you are new here, do consider subscribing as I cover photography tips and gadget reviews. So if not, let's start on these three options that I'll be introducing to you guys today. So let's start with the very first one, which is the largest but the cheapest is this Ulanzi MT11 flexible tripod. Now, most importantly, you guys are curious how it looks. So let's mount it up. So one thing good about this uh, tripod is that you can just turn it and screw it in. This flexible tripod is an improvement of the Joby Gorilla Pod. Now I have it somewhere. Let me go and get it. Yes, this Joby Gorilla Pod 1K. There are a few versions of the Joby Gorilla Pod, but this is the 1K version, meaning it can only hold up to 1kg of weight, if I'm not wrong. The Joby Gorilla Pod is made out of sections. But one shortcoming of the design is that it easily pops out. Whereas this Yulanzi MP11 is literally one whole piece by itself. And you can also turn and twist just like the Gorilla, Joby Gorilla Pod does and be able to mount it on surfaces. I find this tripod to be really useful and really cheap for its price. And most of the time, if I'm doing vlogging, I'm just using it this way. Not to mention there's actually a quarter inch screw mount on the side to allow you to mount other accessories such as lights or monitors to be able to enhance this overall setup. So how much does this MT11 tripod cost? It costs only 20 USD. To put this into perspective, my memory cover here costs more than 20 USD. So there's really literally hardly any reason not to get it. Number two is this Yulanzi MT16 selfie tripod. Now this mini tripod is really unique as you can just open it up and you can also extend it for up to 44 cm or 17 inches. Let's mount the camera up and be able to show you guys how does it look with the Sony ZV-1. Just like the previous tripod, you can just turn it with the screw mount over here. I do really like how Yulanzi designs all of their tripods with these functions because it makes things so much easier comparing with tripod heads that have a base plate which you need special tools to remove it. And just as we mentioned at the start, you can always extend it up to 44 cm to be able to get you in the vlogging mode. One more special function about this tripod, if you can see up close, is this little Koshu mount over here. This Koshu mount will definitely allow you to mount up accessories such as lights and monitors to be able to upgrade your overall setup. Not to mention, the tripod itself weighs really light at 170 grams or 0.4 pounds. It is so light, once you put it in your bag, you won't even notice the weight of it. To me, that is the biggest appeal of this MT16 tripod. Now, how much does this cost? It costs at only 24 USD. Slightly more expensive than the MT11, but I do find that the functions are definitely worth it. Let's move on to our third and last recommendation, which is this Sony SGR1 grip. Now, this grip is often marketed together with the Sony ZV-1 or RX series because it does give functions that is native towards the camera. Now, let's have it mounted up. And as you can see, it does come with this wire which you can plug into the camera for all the other functions. So at the side, you will get this uh, micro USB, which you can plug it in. With this, you have opened up to a few other functions on the mini tripod itself. If you can see up close, there is a video record button, a photo button, as well as this zoom rocker over here. You can always use this for vlogging, or just open up its legs and be used as a mini tripod. Now, I do like it, but this price tag is a little hefty, coming at 95 USD. I am aware there are third-party options, so if you can look for better third-party options, do go for them. But I do find that the functionality of this SGR1 is really good and makes things really convenient without having to reach around your camera to press record or other buttons which are harder to access due to the accessories that you might have placed on top, such as this mic. But if you are just like me, I do find that the grip is a little too small, and considering that I am Asian, my hands are already quite small. So do go for the larger option which comes here at 138 USD. Currently, there's also a promotion that comes with the bigger grip coming at 148 USD with an additional SD card. But just like this SGR1, there's third-party options. I do recommend that you go for them if you don't want to spend such a hefty amount for a mini tripod. I hope you've enjoyed this video of me introducing you these three options for the mini tripods for the Sony ZV-1. If you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Subscribe down below. Oops. Do also ring the bell notification over here so you'll be updated of my latest upload. Links to all these products and more, including my YouTube setup, are in the description below, so do check them out. 
If not, I'll see you guys in the next video.